Colleen, if I go to the police, you know what will happen. The newspapers and the television. Those people will just tear Joshua apart. I couldn't stand it, Belle. I couldn't. But, Mama, you can't help Joshua anymore. You've got to help. You've got to protect yourself. Don't you see? You don't have any choice. There has to be some other way. Mama, there isn't. You... I know you're just avoiding it. Oh. I can't believe. I just can't believe that every day since Joshua died, you've been holding this thing inside of you. It has to have eaten away at you. I only wanted him to be remembered. The way he used to be. He was such a sweet, innocent boy. Oh, Mama. <laughs> no, don't, no, no, I know, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> but, Mama, listen to me. Don't you have to do what's right? Is it so wrong for a mother to want her son to be remembered kindly? <laughs> no, Mama. It isn't. It isn't. But, Mama, what about this Ken Forrest? What about, what about his mother? He has a mother just like you. And right now, her son is in jail for a murder that he did not commit. You hear me? regular church wedding and the reception and everything. We had to dance to this at the wedding. Yeah. Val, honey, everything's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. How did things go fully made today? I don't know, Karen. I can't... can't even tell. Well, where is she? She went out for a walk. She said she... she wanted to clear her head. Matt... Mama's not going to get in any trouble, is she? I mean, by holding all this back, she and Kathy. You know, what they did wasn't the smartest thing in the world to do. Why? Nice. I mean, they didn't, no, actually commit perjury, no. But they did withhold wow. evidence from a police investigation. Val, look, whatever happens, Max could be there with both. Yeah. Hi. 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 Where have you been, boy? Well. Oh, my God. It's just, I make it. it's just a little sprain. You know? Oh, Ben! Sprain? You sprained your ankle? Well, yeah, and I must have torn a few ligaments, too, because that's why the doctor wants it in a cast. Oh, look, here, get that... pillows. Oh, okay. In a cast. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Don't laugh. It's not funny. Here, take your clutches. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, oh, wait. Let me see. Yeah. Here, put your head. Uh, How in the world did this happen? I, I fell off my chair. What? You fell out of your chair? I fell off my chair. You know, I was standing on my chair trying to get it to vent in the office. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. The rocking chair. No, the chair in my office. Oh, the swivel chair. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh, 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 let me ask you something, just to get clear in my own head, you know. Usually, when you stand on a swivel chair, doesn't it swivel? Where's your brain? I hate you. <laughs> I got a piece of news, though, if anybody wants to hear it. I was talking to uh, one of our guys up in Sacramento. He says that the governor is thinking of filling a vacancy on the State Planning Commission. Guess who he's thinking of to fill the vacancy? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> 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 
Abby Ewing. Okay, Forrest, let's go over it one more time. There's nothing to go over. I already told you I don't know anything. You don't play games with me. We've got a witness who placed you at the scene. And he's a liar. Oh, yeah? And what about those men who heard you threaten Joshua that afternoon? Are they liars, too? So I threaten them. It doesn't mean that I kill them. <laughs> 